In this video, I just want to take a look at what stars possibly are. Uh, I don't believe they're, you know, what we're told. And so people in our community are trying to figure this out. Um, I believe there's a firmament above us that is water. And um, so we're going to take a look at this and uh, this clip that I found. And hopefully that can shed some light on things. With the unaided eye, it looked like a star in the heavens. Seth Putterman called it the star in a jar, a tiny spot of bright light contained in a flask of liquid. This star in a jar is made when a sound wave is passed through a small bubble inside a flask of liquid. And this sound wave makes the bubble do something remarkable. First it expands, then it collapses. And this collapse happens so violently that vapor molecules trapped inside the bubble slam together and heat up so much that the bubble gives off an incredible burst of heat and light several thousand times a second, giving the appearance of a star. So what I believe stars are, are frequencies inside of water. I think the firmament up above us is water, just like the Bible says. And I believe that there's electromagnetic currents flowing. I think that the water up above us takes some kind of different form. It's not steam. It's not ice. It's not the liquid. It seems like it's some kind of gel is what I'm believing. Um, unfortunately, you know, people in our community are trying to investigate this and find out these answers. Um, but none of us have large budgets and we're just doing this on our spare time as our hobby. And uh, it stinks because our, um, our society, our masters, if you will, are trying to constantly derail us and take us down this path that uh, we know is just isn't true. Um, so we're kind of left to our own to, to figure out what's going on. But I believe, when I used to believe that uh, nature was atomic, uh, you know, particles banging into each other, and all that nonsense. I now understand that everything's electric. But even when I thought things were atomic, you get down to you know the atomic level, and you get into neutrons, and you get into you know, quarks, there, you know, two up, one down, all that. And then you get into string theory. What is string theory? It's still vibrations. And so it's just a disturbance of nothingness. So when you look at an electric realm instead of atomic, you still get into things like the ether and uh, which I very much believe in Nikola Tesla believed in it also um, but you're looking at the voice of God your disturbance of nothingness and so these stars I feel like are frequencies that maybe when the firmament was forming they were there and got trapped in their own current they got um, frozen there if you will um, it's just a lot of neat ideas um, but, uh, you know, to think that, you know, they're 430,000 or uh, 430 light years away you know, from the North Star and stuff. I mean, that's just ridiculous. You wouldn't be able to see it with your own eye. I did a video on the inverse light square, and you should check that out if you haven't. So, in conclusion, I just wanted to make this video and say that I, um, I'm not sure what stars are, um, but saying that they're suns and planets and all those ridiculous things you know uh, miles away that you can't even imagine and yet you can stand on your porch and see it with your naked eye uh, it just doesn't add up but uh, i think this clip that i played really um, brings to light pun intended a lot of things of what they possibly are because there's a lot of frequencies you have to remember in the bible and god said this and god said that um, God calls everything into existence. 
which is voice, which is frequency. So I think there's uh, some connections there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Okay, so if you look here, when uh, we zoom in on the Big Dipper, notice um, all these other stars come into view. And I guess my question is, you know, why don't you see these other stars with the naked eye as well? I mean, if you keep going and building on that, eventually there, there should be no nighttime. You should just always see stars lighting up the quote-unquote night sky. Um, so obviously that's ridiculous, but... Um, you know, a lot of people say, well, the light hasn't reached us yet. But if you can sit there with a telescope, and I've done it too, with a Walmart telescope, hit on a clear night, hit a empty, uh, what appears to be an empty space, and zoom in, and you can suddenly see more stars. So for me, this says the stars are very nearby, and this is perspective. Because when you zoom in on something it opens up your angular resolution is all you're doing the lights already there you're just broadening that angular resolution and to me i think that's an example of what we're seeing here the stars are nearby or close and um or at least not near as far as what we're being told